Today, I would like to talk to you all about the question, which I'm sure all the fertility dot have to discuss about on on a daily basis. And I, of course, have to have this kind of conversation every day. The question is, Dr. Zhang, I had in vitro fertilization, so-called IVF procedure done. I had a so, so, so number of embryos transfer, but I'm not getting pregnant. Why I'm not getting pregnant? They told me my embryo looks great, and I I am so careful. I'm doing everything that with the way you said, but why I'm not getting pregnant? So I want to discuss this question with you. So while we want everybody to get pregnant, we do everything possible trying to improve the chance to get everybody pregnant, but nevertheless, we just couldn't get everybody pregnant at any time, and this is a question we always have to discuss about it. So let's talk about this subject. The answer is one of the two. If you're not getting pregnant after embryo transfer, either the quality of embryos are not good enough, or your environment, your body, the uterus, or the uterine cavity are not optimal to receive the embryos. So this will be one of the two reasons. 70% of the time is due to the embryo quality and 30% of the time due to the endometrial environment, your body. While there's no crystal ball, there's no any technology can confirm in any field embryo transfer whether it belong to the embryo quality or due to the endometrial environment. But as I said, 70% of the time is due to embryo quality. Then to further figure out whether in each individual case, whether due to the endometrial environment or embryos, we're looking for a few hints. If the lady age is 39 years or older, if the embryo was not blastocyst stage embryos, or morphology not so perfect, then most likely is endometrial environment, uh, most likely the embryo quality. If the lady is 35 years or younger and never got a pregnant before, and embryo looks soup, it's a very good quality embryo, but they are not getting pregnant. That could be the endometrial environment. So if due to endometrial environment, then we'll do further investigation. By chemically, we can check the blood, looking for specific antibodies or factors which may against embryo to implant. We can look at the physical environment of the uterus. We can do ultrasounds, we can do special ultrasounds, we can do hysteroscopy, look at the inside the cavity, to looking for subtle pathological changes. It may prevent embryo from implantation. If we think it's the embryo quality, then of course we'll try to change the protocols, trying to get do the retrieval in a different time to see if we can improve the egg quality by means of seeing if the embryo can make it to so-called blastocyst stage embryo. By the way, I just want to cut in to explain a little bit about how can we have a better knowledge about the quality of the embryos. Three things we can do. A, look at the morphology. Basically look at the shape, the image of the embryos. If the embryos can make all the way to day five, day six stage embryo, so-called blastocyst stage embryo, then the embryo have a good chance to be good quality embryo. We also can estimate the quality of embryos by looking at the age of the patient. If the embryo will produce from the patient who is 38 years or younger, there's a good chance to be good quality embryo. If they are 40, 41, 42, so there's an increased chance of poor quality embryo. So this is how you get hints about the quality of the embryos. Now, I I am sure you all know a new technology called the pre-implantation genetic screen test, which you can take a few cells from an embryo at the so-called blastocyst stage embryo. Then we can do the advanced technology using the molecular technology called next generation sequencing or comparative genomic hybridization, 
the abbreviation is CGH or NGS. Then we can further check the number of chromosomes of these embryos. Then you can give you further information about the quality of the embryo. And indeed, if the embryo can make to blastocyst stage an embryo, and an NGS test prove the chromosome number is normal, and this embryo usually have at least a 50% chance to get patient pregnant. So this is the one. This is the way to, to figure out the embryo quality. So if patient can move on to the next step, then we will work on the both side and try to improve the quality of the embryo and also thoroughly evaluate uterine care. Thank you.